Hello everyone and welcome to another Super Science video of the Mass Dent Regional Library. I'm Ms. Stephanie, one of the librarians here in the Youth Services Department. And today's video is going to be a little different as normally I do an experiment, but since we're taking a break for a few weeks, I this is more of just sharing some information with you about a simple machine, the screw. And screws, actually they come in all shapes and sizes, but the thing they have in common is they're used to fasten things together or hold them in place. And they have a cylinder shaped pole called the shaft with a flat head, as you can see here, or it's slightly rounded. And there's a spiral of ridges around the shaft known as the head. And these ridges help hold a screw into place and make it much harder to pull out than a nail. And I thought, why well, continue to tell you when I can show you the difference. So I have a nail right here and I got some cardboard. So I'm just going to put this through the, there, right there. All right. And I'm going to try to pull it apart. Oh, easy peasy. So let's try that with a screw now. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, it's even harder to put in. Okay. So I'm turning it and it Okay, yep, see it's just taking me longer to do this because the ridges are what help it make secure while the nail doesn't have any ridges at all. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put it a little bit further then I'm gonna try to pull these apart like I did with the nail. Okay, here we go, one, two, three. Oh, I'm having a tougher time with this and it's, it's going a little bit, but not nearly as easily as it did with the nail. So it's just an example to show you how screws can, are a simple machine that can make things a little easier for us by keeping things together, like pieces of wood and so on. But screws don't always look like this though. They can come in different forms. Like for example, this right here can be used to open a bottle, like put, you put in the cork and you twist it and pull it out. But if you tried that with a nail or something like looked like a nail, it would just pop right out and the cork would stay in the bottle. And also, it's the screw can look different because it can be it, it can hold do a firm hold. And this is a flashlight, and these are rigid edges. And as I turn it, it secures this part and the light bulb in place so that. It can be used, but if it was pop, it, like it would fall out really easily, and you couldn't find your way in the dark. So let's go. Let's do some exploring and see if we can find some more examples of screws around us. All right, guys. I thought we would go into the break room or our craft craft supply area just to see if we can find some more examples of screws. So let me come in here, opening the door real quick. And oh, hi, Liz. Hey, hi, Stephanie. Oh, it's nice to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Good. I was just showing them uh, some examples of screws, uh -oh. and it looks like you have three in your hand right here. I'm just gonna look. This is so cool. So let's. Let me. What the, you have in your hand is your water bottle, right? Right. Can you unscrew it, please? Sure. Oh, look at that. There are ridges around the edges, and they match together, which help it get attached. And that way, if you accidentally drop your bottle, it wouldn't. If it was just a pop top, it would probably spill everywhere. But the screw will help it keep more secure and keep your water in there. That's true. And also, oh, let's look over here at this pom pom jar. This one. Yeah, that one right there. Could you please open that for me? Oh, what beautiful colors. And as you can see, as I come up closely, the ridges on that as well help lock the jar into place because if you accidentally knock it down, it won't just pop off and spill all of them everywhere. And the last one that I see here is the lamp. And oh wait, it has not one, but two screws. Whoa. Isn't that pretty amazing? That's pretty cool. So um, as you can see at the top that Liz is unscrewing, that helps keep the shade attached to the rest of the lamp. And then we lift it and we see this light bulb right here. And as she's unscrewing it, it's like it, the thread cuttings at the bottom of the bulb. Oh, hold on one sec. There we go. As you can see, they help keep it, it perfectly fit together with the little right here inside of the lamp. So the bulb will stay fixed inside of it. And when you cut it on, the light will come on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is a great example of a screw simple machine. So, wow, that was really cool. Th all those screws in one place. Wow. Imagine what you guys could possibly find at home. So, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sir. All right, and let's go talk about some books that I used when I was making this video. All 
All right, well, I hope you learned something today about uh, screws and how they are all around us and how this little simple thing can be very helpful to all of us by helping us reduce the work we have to do. And let me share some books that I looked at when I was making, preparing for this video. The first is the part of the Louise Spolsberg series called Screw, and this is the Screws book. And I like it because I like all these books, but I just like how it gives you a lot of information, but it doesn't like make it hard to understand. And there's like some bigger examples of screws that I couldn't show you in this video, like the spiral staircase. And there's also, let's see. There's also, there was another really good one. Um, oh yes, did you know that a snowplow is, it has a screw in it because the motor helps turn it and it helps it move forward and clear snow. So for more information about screws, that this is your go-to book. And then for, some, for a fun twist and in information on simple machines, I have Keep It Simple Rapunzel, The Fairy Tale Physics of Simple Machines. And it's just like a fun twist on Rapunzel, you know how the prince rescues her from the tower, you know, because of her hair, but like the prince in this case is using a bunch of simple machines to rescue her. And it's just a, pre it's a pretty funny story. And so I would just recommend it if you want to learn more, but you just, you just don't want like just a purely informational book like this one. You want a little story to go around it with as well. So thank you so much for joining me for our video. I hope to share more experiments and more information about science with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.